How's it going guys? So in this video we are going to be doing a quick one on the new bake options uh, how to bake materials out and then at the end I will quickly show you how to get that into Eevee um, so that you can get some real time rendering going on which is something I know you guys have been asking a lot of um, currently it's not possible with True Terrain as it stands the materials are just too complex so, excuse me so um, we'll be using this bake function to bake the material out and bring it back in uh, as a single material that you can then use in EV and experience some real time rendering um, so let's jump straight in so what we want to do excuse me is get this material uh, that we've got on this with the rocks the ground the mixed textures blah 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 we want to be able to get that into uh, a baked texture set so you can send them out to other 3d software if you want and yada 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 um, what we'll want to do first is decide on what resolution of mesh we want uh, so that way we can set our uvs correctly and then bake out to that uh, i think i'm probably going to go with three There we go, we've got a nice resolution on our mesh. Um, so we can, oh, excuse me, apply that uh, subdivision modifier. And then we're going to want to apply our, um, this, sorry, our displacement that we've used. This is one of these, the, the, the displacement is one of the height maps that we've provided with 4.2. Um, and the next thing that we're going to want to do is let's close off all of these values. Uh, we can close all of these two. And we're going to need to set an output math, uh, output path, uh, and then set our image prefix. So let's set uh, output path. So let's have a look. Uh, baking. For the ooh, for the fam, uh, and then we'll just accept. And image prefix is what you want the textures to have at the beginning of them. So uh, obviously, we're going to put true bake because everything is true. Uh, underscore, and the resolution is. Um, obviously the resolution that you want to output at. Uh, so 4K is the standard. You can either, I don't know whether you guys know this, you can, um, any value in Blender, you can multiply, divide, add or minus. Uh, so you get to the end of the number, you just uh, divide by two and we can have uh, 2048 or we can uh, times that by four and punch out an 8K. Uh, the UV map is already on the terrain because when we use the displacement option, it's just a plane uh, that we then displace, so it's already got a UV map set to that. Um, and what we're going to want to do is just make sure we're happy with all of these maps that we're going to bake out. Um, AO I'm going to deselect for now, uh, because the AO map takes the longest for some reason. So we're just going to deselect that, and I'm going to bake this out at 8K. Uh, and then I will uh, get back to you when that's done. And we are back. So we've baked everything out. It took a couple of minutes. I think it was about 10 minutes because uh, it was 8K and uh, you know, pumping up that RAM. Well, here are the output files. So you've got our color, displacement, glossy, normal, and reflection, or roughness and specular, depending on uh, if, you, if you're nasty or not. Um, so how do we... How do we get this in to Eevee? Uh, how do we do that? So, well, the easiest way is to come to this material. Let's get rid of it. Bye. Uh, and now that we've got rid of that, we can add a new one. And we're going to head into the uh, shader editor. So, if you've got Node Wrangler enabled, you can just Control and T on the principled node and let's just open some 
Bacon for the fam. So let's pull the color first. Uh, and now we can go into render mode. And let's have a quick look at the color. And as you can see, it's pulled exactly what we had earlier, uh, including all of the uh, mixed areas. And what we need to do is obviously add the rest of the maps. So let's jump out of this and let's start duplicating this node. Uh, Alt and right click, drag it over. And let's open up the file and add the gloss. Let's do the reflection first just because it's next in the order. So let's enter the specular and pull this out. And let's do the same. Open up the file, add in the gloss. Put that into the roughness and pull out the file. Whoop. Oh, no, I've done that the wrong way. Silly me. We're going to put this into the normal. Uh, you should not be in there. We're going to open this up, add the normal map in, add a normal map in. So, vector, normal map, drop that in there. And we can also add the displacement in. Uh, so let's duplicate you. Alt and right click over. And let's add in a vector displacement. And then we uh, open up this again and grab the displacement map. Pull that into the height and pull that into the displacement. And now if we head back into rendered view, there we go. So now we can see that we've got um, our wet patches from earlier. So this is the mixed material. Um, how do we get this into Eevee? Well, it's really not that hard. Uh, we come out of edit mode, uh, sorry, render mode. Let's go into properties. We're gonna change the world node to uh, Hossack Wilkie, I believe. It works in Eevee just for now. Swap that over to Eevee, let's add a light a sun now it's a little bit dark so let's uh, increase the exposure a little bit um, and we need to get this sun a little nice yellowy color and increase the brightness to 10 maybe there we go so now we've got it in eevee and we can fly around in eevee a look at things in Eevee, everything that you keep, you guys keep asking for, is now available in Eevee. And there we go. And just to top it off, let's add the camera in. There we, there we have it, guys. That's how you bake things out, and you can then from there on just like sort of export this as an FBX, and it'll export with the materials. Um, or you can just use it in EV and um, have a lot more fun, I guess. That's that from me on this video. I will see you guys in the next one.